Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for our next deck, which is going to be Grixis Legends. Been a little bit since we played this deck, but basically the core of this deck is Yogmoth's Vile Offering. So it's the reason why we're playing so many legendary creatures or planeswalkers. Because it's a legendary sorcery, so you need a legendary creature or planeswalker in play uh, to be able to cast this. And so basically what it gets to do is it it's like, you know, Ravenous Chubacabra basically destroys a creature, but you can also destroy a planeswalker. It's so like either one. Plus, it's the third chapter of Eldest Reborn where you get to put any creature or planeswalker from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. You get to do them both at the same time. So very powerful effect. Uh, of course, if you don't really have a creature or planeswalker in the graveyard, it's not as good. So in uh, that respect, we have cards like Chartercourse and Sark and Fireblood where we can fill our graveyard. Um, same with Ascanta. We can f um, fill our graveyard uh, to be able to put like a niv Mizzet or a Nickel Bolus or something nice in the graveyard and then get it back with the Vile Offering. So there we go. So let's go ahead and... Let's uh, try it out. So, Grixis Legends. So, oh, Dusty, did you just you just signed up for Harry's there? Awesome. Do I sound really quiet? And the music's too loud? Yeah, no, I know you're trying to be helpful, Sumo, so that's why I'm asking. So, Dusty... Okay, if you got the Harry's... If you did sign up for Harry's there, it did not come through on my end. Like the the um, the referral didn't work on my end. If you signed up, so if so, would you mind a magic hair you did as well? No alerts. What is going on here? So if if y'all wouldn't mind, could you? Yeah, didn't get one for that either. If you if you wouldn't mind um, sending me a just send me a whisper with your order number, so I can tell my um, my person there and have have them give me credit for the order. Daybreak Chaplain. I don't even know what's going on over there. Uh, oh, maybe. Yeah, I think you, you probably did have to be logged into Twitch. Yeah, because that's what, that's what it, um, that's how it, it checks for me is, is with the Twitch. So there we go. Thank you so much, Dusty. All right, so that's, the other thing with signing up for, for Harry's there is you also do get... Um, a half-off donation deck. That's another incentive that I'm giving for people to sign up. So instead of only $20... Uh, for a donation deck, you can get one for $10 at any time. You don't have to ever, but you know that's, that's something. If you ever do want to pay for a donation deck, you can get one for half-off. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, then. I don't know. I'll have to let them know. There's... The Harry's in particular is... I have not gotten as many as I think I should have. So, I was going to be messaging them tomorrow about some other... Other people that ordered and didn't go through, so I'll message them again. So, alright. Uh, so, Magic Harry, if you could uh, just send me your order number as well. 
So, yep, looks like we have a life gain white weenie deck. Absolutely. Which it's gonna be just fine for us. I think I think we got this one. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much, Harry. All right, so let's get this up to fourteen people. Getting that nice razor sent to them. And. Uh, <laughs> that's a good quote. I think we got this one. You can add quotes too. Hawkeye is, like, around 11 or 12. I don't know his exact age, but he's right around there, about 11 or 12. We're just going to keep shocking. Chris says, I use Harry's. Here, it's pretty awesome and way no cheaper to buy fire, than a 3. No steel. Than, like, the, the Mach 3 blades. Yeah, it's... Really good for the price, in particular. Yeah, I saw that 1960 pal. So today is National Puppy Day. So, okay, so yeah, we'll get Puppy on a little later if Hawkeye ever goes and lays down or something. Let me also write down these referrals so I don't forget. So we had a Magic Harry. All right, another pride mate. This is Smashing Pumpkins Landslide. <laughs> yeah, MTG bot is slacking today. Blows temper the blade. No fire, no steel. No, Hawkeye's not camera shy today. He's just, you know, looking at me, like, waiting for me to start petting him. Kind of thing. So if we did not top deck that lava coil, we were going to be... Uh, we were going to be minus threeing the Angrath. And taking, yeah, you know, like we would have just shocked, played Niv Mizzet, and then minus three the Angrath and took their pride mate to kill it. Thanks, Garnoth. No fire. No steel. Do you think Modern War Prison is better with or without the Thopter Sword combo? Um, honestly, I don't play much Modern these days, and I, I don't really know. I don't have a good answer for you. Oh, wow. Yeah, our opponent is chilling. There were 79 cards still left in their library. Yeah, unfortunate opponent here. Like this, this of course should not be a no fire, no steel. It's not going to be a very challenging one for us to win. Um, unfortunate for the opponent. Be paired up against us.
Oh, okay, Suma. So that's that's what it was. Your headset was partially unplugged. Okay. Hey, it's it's all good though. I of course can't hear what you what y'all hear, and so, you know, if you think the audio is off or anything, I I do appreciate somebody saying something. You want some Hawkeye? Or sorry, you want some water, Hawkeye? <laughs> All right, hitting that submit button. Yeah, okay, we're hitting the submit button. Submit. He's just kind of looking at me like, what are you doing? Why are you talking so much? Hawkeye's like, I'm I'm sitting a foot from you. Why are you yelling at me? No, he's kind of the opposite of Shy, you know? He's like, just looking at me and like, what are you doing? Right here. There you go. Oh yeah, Hawkeye's definitely a cool cat. He's one of the best. I didn't kill the Leon and oh the Leon and Vanguard. I did. Never mind. I didn't kill like the Leon and other one, the four mana one. Cause that one I took back under my control. Gonna get the Escanta out here to, to start hitting land drops. Hawkeye Cam. Uh, they have 85 still. So they have a 93 card deck. Ooh. Bueller's got a hit, right? They got they got plenty of cards. It can hit so many different things. There you go. Give Hawkeye some lasagna. There you go. Lean in War Leader. That's the name of that lean in that I was thinking of earlier. So that one, of course, we're going to lava coil. Yeah, it's a furry hero blade hold. That's a good name. Yeah, it's unfortunate that our opponent's like, you know, real new, of course, and everything, and we're just playing this on stream here. So 3-5 is going to deal us some damage for a little bit until we just find a land and play Bolas. Unfortunately, our, our deck doesn't win very quickly. So it's going to take a little while. Especially with them gaining all this life. I 
All right, go with the double block. Get this thing out of here. Trade it for the Lazav, especially those having another Lazav in hand. Oh yeah, getting that value. Put the squee in our graveyard, still be able to cast it. Hmm. I just realized that they gained enough life to get a 4-4 <laughs> after playing that squee. I was paying attention to Hawkeye and everything like that. Uh, yeah. You kill this. That'll make it a little easier. I was just planning on like finding a land and getting playing Lazav and copying the Nickel Bolas kind of thing. This will make this a little easier. I'm hoping they have a spell and it's not a land. Because if it was a land, they could have just played the the land last turn to get towards like the six. For Resplendent Angel. Ooh, a Cleansing Nova. Hey, T Brock, going pretty good today. Correct. Well, you can, you would still be able to spend the mana to transform Lazav. It would gain that ability, but it would not do anything. Well, yeah, our opponent doesn't have a pre-con. They have 93 cards in their deck. That's not really a pre-con. Hmm. Evil, you may regret that choice. We are playing a lot of weird cards too. Our phone's probably doing a lot of reading. All right, down to 36. We'll eventually get that down a little farther. They are gaining two each turn. Hey, Napster with that resub. Welcome back, Napster. So we have our sub battle countdown going down to 143 now. Yeah, you're right. Faster to kill with flipped bolus, absolutely. We didn't have seven mana before. We, we just drew the extra land uh, after playing the Karn tick up. So I, I couldn't flip the bolus the, the previous turn. Hey, track team. Not much. Just having a good, good nice Saturday here Your streaming for tomorrow. I guess I'll just kind of let everybody know. Tomorrow we are not doing a stream, as you can see on the... Uh, Return! As you can see right there. I do think maybe it's better just to play this Niv Mizzet. Niv Mizzet kills pretty quickly too. But then Monday we're gonna be doing a 12 hour stream. <laughs> Cause boats are cooler than trains. So that's why we have hype boats instead of, you know, get aboard like the hype train, but boats are just cooler than trains. 
So we have a, bo a boat. Zeitgeist 9000. Welcome back to Value Town. Get all those emotes. Uh, one to that thing. And Punk Boy RD. Also, we got an armada of hype boats out right now. Thanks, y'all. How would you rank airplanes among trains and boats? Planes are pretty cool too. I think trains is the worst, and then planes, and then boats. We gotta get squee but back on here. Oh yeah, buses are the worst out of all those. I don't really even want to activate Karn. Might as well make a thing. Oh yeah, if we got settled here... Oh yeah, we're on a cruise ship. Awaken. They could I guess they could have another cleansing nova. You gain three life, not four. I am tapped out. This is gonna make me click resolve on everything because the Lazav could, could technically, you could do zero for the ability. That's annoying. Yeah, it's, it's saying you can pay zero. So gosh, Lazav, you can just keep spam spamming that ability very annoyingly. I guess we'll see if their last card is settle for some weird reason. And not really just casting other things. My opponent kind of responds pretty slow. They had a 93 card deck. <laughs> they found the cleansing nova. All right, we still got a game. Uh, gonna have to. Take a little bit longer. There we go. That's the card I wanted. I fight with a dragon's rage! And they get another turn. We'll see if they draw a removal spell. Uh, the waiting period is not long whatsoever. 
Um, I can basically, if you donate for a deck, you can always play it basically, basically almost always the next day. Uh, it's very rare that I'd be filled up for the next day. So, like, basically Monday, you know, I'm not streaming tomorrow, but Monday I have plenty of room. Especially how we're doing a 12-hour stream. I have two decks for Monday right now. So, basically no, no waiting time for donation decks. No, have... Or played... Have I played many Rakdos Aggro decks? I've played some. Uh, the Judith Priest deck that... Call it that. That deck is the, the best Rakdos Aggro deck that I've played. Probably the easiest way to check that is to... Check the YouTube channel, I guess, and just kind of scroll and look for, like, the, the Rakdos art. And you can see all the different Rakdos decks we've played. Alright, so we'll take Negate. They don't counter. I'll keep that. Don't counter Sarkin. Oh, wait. I can't play Sarkin. Yeah, I could play that Hermon. I I've I have never I have not seen that deck before. But yep, could certainly play that. Well I'd rather that get countered than search for Escanta. Opponent with all these main main deck duresses or negates. Got all those main deck negates. I do want that red source. Thank you. I really don't know what my Sarkin's gonna be doing these days. We'll do something though. I don't want to discard the vial offering. Call me Ma Are you ready? Okay, you want to build it in paper, but you need it to last? It... It may not. Like, the format's likely going to change quite a bit whenever the, the next set is released at the end of next month. Basically a month away from now. You know, magic sets just, you know, like, new sets usually change formats. And so one month, we're going to have a, a shake-up in the format. Oh, no, Negate is, is fine in, in the main deck. It is good in against everybody. It's just, it's uncommon to see. I don't think it's a, a bad choice whatsoever. To the skies. So the worst thing would be they like double cry the carnarium and exile both things. Even just cry the carnarium plus moment of craving exiling my bolus is annoying. Hmm. Alright, so they're simply Demir. They're absolutely going to be playing a bunch of Thief of Sandys, and I think that's kind of about the only thing we need to be scared of. You know, Thief and, I guess, Hostage Taker. So we probably want our Shivan Fires. I 
Oh, did you see a white source? Were they... Were they Esper? Oh, they were Esper. Okay. I missed that. Alright, well, let's get our uh, Thieves and Negates in then. And we'll cut Izer at... No, get back in here, Squee. Not you, Squee. Um, trim one vial offering. I guess I'm supposed to take out the coils, but... Hmm. Maybe take out Firebloods? Do you need answers for their Thief of Sanity? I'm going to take out Lazav. I just have to cut something. I just got a chart, of course. Just have to cut something. Well, against Thief, this hand's horrible. Against Not Thief, this hand is pretty good. I mean, having Niv Mizzet on turn four is you know really enticing that would be our opponent kind of doing nothing though all right shivan fire is real nice so we can just i just want to kill this thief right here and then untap and sarkin He told me I would find you here. Man, just tick up draw card. With Squee in your hand. Teferi would be like the worst thing for us, how they could, you know, play Teferi and tuck Niv. That didn't work out so good for our opponent. Oh, the old Thieva Sanity Kaya's Wrath combo. I should just, I mean, I should just cast the Charter Course first and just make decisions from there, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's very similar to Grixis Discard. Well, similar in the fact that we have Nicol Bolas and Thought Erasure. And we're a sweet Grixis deck. All right, two and zero. Oh. That that Shiv and Fire we drew was perfect. How we got to Shiv and Fire and then untap and land Sarkin, and then next turn Niv Mizzet. That was really nice. All right, two and zero oh for Grixis Legends. We got a Chandra Mirror. I wonder if they're playing the same deck we are. I think they're also playing Grixis Legends. Hmm. 
Stomping Ground's a weird addition to Grixis Legends, but... Alright. Alright, so we'll take Spellbreaker first, and then Phoenix next. Double Phoenix. Hmm. Phoenix is kind of a tough one for me. I mean, I have Lava Coils. So, like, that's what I have to deal with the Phoenix. The problem with Niv Mizzet is my opponent does have the Colossus that gets to kill Niv Mizzet. That was risky. I was going to be dead to the Colossus. That was very risky. But if I would have just played Karn and Minus, we would have just been going to one. So it wasn't a great option there. All right, so I already have six lands. The Charter Course, I can, I can already cast Charter Course. I can deal three. They are coming! So I get to deal 3 damage, but dealing 3 damage to Rekindling Phoenix is not worth a whole lot. Lazav's a very cheap legendary creature where if you have 7 mana you get to play it and uh, Vile Offering. It's also going to work out for us here of just turning into Niv-Mizzet next turn. Because when you have 8 mana we could get to play Lazav then copy Niv-Mizzet. The dragon does not lose! I can also... So if I, I could Thought Erasure plus Lazav plus Shock and make a Nickel Bolas, but Bolas isn't very good at blocking. I can just ask Kanta and look for, like, Lava Coil. If I ask Kanta and Whiff, 
I play Izareth that just takes the lightning strike. Don't really do anything. Uh, no, Lazav is a shapeshifter. We we haven't seen a Yogmas Vile offering yet. We have four of them in the deck. I'd really like to draw one. Still didn't find one. We have to jump with Lazav now. This couldn't never quite stabilize. No, my opponent only had one lightning strike. Let's get Melody in here. And Shiv and Fire would be pretty good. Hey, Vengeance Live. Alright, so Squeeze way too slow. Same with Karn. Karn's too slow. Sarkin is going to kind of die too. Oh, let me get these Ritual sets up in here. I'm going to trim one Vile Offering. It's going to be tough to kind of have that card. Or like untap with, with something and have that card available. Um, what else? Get rid of at least one Sarkin. Zav's not really blocking very well. Does, does help Vile Offering though by quite a bit. Yeah, I don't think I like Sarkin here. So we're going to be just taking a bunch of damage. Let's try this. Lazav's very good in the late game. It's not, like, the, the two mana 1-3 is not spectacular. It would have been good of blocking that Dire Fleet Daredevil that was beating us down. I don't think I can keep this, right? No, I can't keep this. Didn't get any better. But we get a scry. Gosh. 12-hour stream went pretty well yesterday. Yeah, we had we had some fun decks and everything, and uh, started off kind of earlier with the quasi dupla ooze was uh, really impressive, and had a lot of fun with that deck. I'll be playing that deck again soon, probably Monday. And then Mono Black Zombies had another fun league. Yeah, it was a good stream yesterday. This is really unfortunate that I'm using the Lava Coil here. I really want to save Lava Coil for Phoenix. 
So we saw that last game, Phoenix was just such a problem. Ugh. So many Phoenixes. But I didn't want to sit there and take three in case they didn't have Phoenix, you know. We were just in a really rough spot of missing land drop. I would have Ritual of Soot. Like, if we would have hit the land drop, I was gonna, I would have cast Ritual of Soot to kill the Spellbreaker and hold on to Coil. But obviously we did not hit the land drop. Like, all these cards are, are trouble, which is why I played the, the bolas here. But they just harpooner, kill that, lightning strike me. Phoenix is just... Ugh. Phoenix is... Ugh. Also, our, our hand that second game really sucked. First game was really close. Just couldn't quite stabilize. Hey, there you go, Jelly. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the YouTube channel. I think that it, it works out pretty well. Um, I, I now have, since the last like four or five days or so, I got the YouTube the app on my phone for YouTube, and uh, I get an, like a notification whenever anybody puts a comment on there and, and stuff. And Man, what are these hands? We still have, so we have like the Izerath that we know we get to play. We just find it a red source. There we go. That's a good card. Of course, Drod. Of course, Drod. I'm all, always open to feedback. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, if you want the music in the background, you just look play your Spotify music. That works well. Attack. Yeah, we have we have like charter course to help us at land drops early in here. Especially how Charter Course works really well with Yogmoth's File Offering. And then obviously as Kanta as well. Boom. Alright, so we got the first game. So they are also a Grixis Control deck. They had all their Ritual of Sets, which that's kind of a good thing for us is that we don't have all the Ritual of Sets in our main deck. I'm gonna go ahead and play all these Shivan Fires again for their Thief of Sanity like we did last time. I think that worked out pretty well for us. Um, I don't like Squee as much in this matchup as against like Esper because the games don't go as long. What about Izerath? Maybe. I like Vile Offering more than against Esper. Oh, really? You, you hate the thumbnails? Because, yeah, before I didn't have any thumbnails at all. Yeah, before it was just, like, the picture of, like, the gameplay, and it looked real bad. And so I wanted something that would be easy for me to make while streaming, as far as the thumbnails go. You know, I just... I have all the, the templates for the different colors, and then just type the deck to go along with the color. So 65, what am I cutting? Hmm. I guess resolving vial offering sometimes is real tough. You know, like if, if we already have like something out, we're, we're doing okay.
And... Uh, I guess I don't really have anything else to take out besides Vile Offering. I'll get rid of the chart, of course. Yeah, I don't. That's a, that's the problem, Drod. Is I don't I don't really know how to do that high quality MTG picture of a crucial card in the deck. That's and I don't. I guess I don't really know how how to do that. You know, you have to have like a, a custom one like that for each each different deck. That's like sounds pretty difficult to do while streaming kind of stuff. It's just yes, I I would I would want that as well, but I think that's. Kind of a little too difficult to do for myself and my own abilities. But yeah, is there like what what don't you like about the current ones though? Alright, wanna hopefully we keep hitting our land drops and we get to nickel bolus next turn. You know, keep forcing them to have removal. Nice. Ooh, discarding Niv Mizzet, huh? All right, that's a good one. That's a real good one. So I'm just going to be tapping out a whole lot. And I just don't have use for a negate. Alright, did not find the land. Alright, that's fine. So they get Niv Mizzet back. Unfortunately, that's of course like what I wanted to do. If we would have hit the land, we would have vile offering and try to get Niv Mizzet back. Obviously, they had the disdainful stroke, so it wasn't so bad for us. <laughs> Please run. Uh, your crew guess we'll for see. My freedom. <laughs> A fair price. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's why they discard Niv. They also, they they haven't been able to cast Niv at all because the basic swamp. Okay, never got to the that fifth land. Play one, one coil as well. Yeah, with Jund, for inverse with Jund, uh, there is no Jund symbol. So the the five shards that were from shards of Alara, they don't have a symbol. So Jund, I have one with. Basically, each one. I have a Golgari Jund, I have a Rakdos Jund, and a Gruul Jund. And so I just pick whichever one, you know, to use for, for that video. But there is no Jund symbol, so that's why there's, like, the, the Golgari symbol for Jund and so on. And as far as 
there is just a, a picture, an art picture in the back that just stays the same with all of them. I, I, I can't switch, like I said before, I don't have like the ability to like switch that out for every single uh, video. So yeah, there's gonna be some art that's not in the card, or card art that's not in the deck for him. But it's weird that, you know, like there's a, a guild symbol and a mana, and you know, like each color has a symbol, but There's not a symbol. Or just three of the shards. Three of the shards have a symbol. The wedges do, I guess. I'm just going to cast this while I can. Sure, it gets syncopated, but... You know, once... If I don't cast it, they bedevil my Nicol Bolas, and then I can never cast it. So I like just trading that with the syncopate. Our opponent has us Kanta, though, so, like, we're getting buried here. I mean, a nice place to draw a chart, of course. To draw our two. Yeah, I, yeah, I'll get, I'll get stuff with like gems and everything. I have extra gems, so yeah, I'll, I'll be getting stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Most of the thumbnails have art in the background that's of a card that's not in the deck. And that's just kind of how it is. I, I don't have the ability to keep changing that over and over. So I don't see really how we win. They have Ascanta, they have Thief, they have Eldritch Born. I don't really see how we can win here. Yeah, at least we're not mana screwed this game. Like last game, that's true. No fire, no steel. And we're dead. So I guess I, I could have taken one of the removal spells instead of their Thief of Sanity with the Thought Erasure. But, you know, then obviously we, we drew into, like, the Thief of Sanity, which... I don't know, I didn't have like an answer to it, which I, I guess I never really did, so. I felt like if I take one of the their two answers with Lava Coil and Bedevil, then the other one would kill my Nickel Bolas and they'd be able to hit me with Thief because I didn't have anything to, to deal with the Thief. I still think it was a pretty fine play there, but yeah, we just, just kind of ran out of gas. Besides drawing that one Thief of Sanity, we didn't really... I guess we drew one Shiv and Fire also. So we drew like two cards and two spells and then the rest of them were lands in that whole game. So that'll do it. They had, you know, plenty of, of spells, you know, that they stopped at four lands uh, hit and just had plenty of spells. They, of course, discarded one land to the Bolas. Uh, so they had a fifth land, but them drawing that as Kanta right after our Thought Erasure was perfect. It was a great time to draw as Kanta, and then they just got to 
help out their draw steps after that, drawing that Azcanta right after our thought erasure. That's how magic goes sometimes. So there we go. That was Grixis Legends. Um, you know, pretty fun deck to play. The, I think my my least favorite card in the deck is Karn. I think I think Karn's pretty bad. And we can have something else there. The best thing that Karn does, you know, Karn it just gives you some card advantage, but it at least is is easy to have on the battlefield and be able to cast Vile Offering. Like it it curves very well because like it pluses up to six loyalty. It's hard to attack from six loyalty. So then, you know, if you have it out, then you get to Vile Offering after that. But how how the format is these days, it just doesn't seem like Karn is ever impactful. <laughs> is Karn to make it? So yeah, so something else there could be nice. Um, there's just so many options for me to just kind of list like other options to be playing, not only in the four mana slot, but you know we can play other cards at three. We could have like another Niv Mizzet because that card's just great. We could have like another one of those. You know, like there's just so many other things to be doing with this slot. I don't know exactly what. Uh, definitely do not want theater of horrors or anything like that, but yeah, Joyra could be an option. Joyra dies really easily, though. Uh, there's a ton of good three mana legends. Could just be other kind of card draw, other removal, uh, anything. There's just tons of things to be doing. Could be playing Ral as Viceroy is, is another good option. I think I'd rather have Ral's probably better than Karn. Also, um, I think that's the one thing about the deck that I think I'd want to change is just kind of take out the two Karns and. Kind of play whatever you want, you know, for for something there. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching some Grixis Legends, and I'll see you for the next video.